How's it going everybody? Chris here. I haven't really posted a video in a long time. Uh, probably it's been about a couple of months, but I just want to do a quick one on my latest pickup. Um, I actually got this at the Camazon Desert Hills outlet. It's like going towards Palm Springs. And um, I actually got this for a really crazy price. Um, I think it was like 130 bucks. And on the website, when I'm looking at, you know, the specifically this product, um, it's going for almost like 600 bucks as you can see right there it's a gansini uh wallet mine is not this one i think mine is much of uh i think like two three maybe four seasons ago um but still i mean i got it for let me grab the receiver right here there you go for 130 bucks they had a big sale, so it was like 50% off and an additional 30% off. So I feel like I scored, and to be 100% honest, I didn't really think they had Ferragamo outlet stores. Uh, we were just stopped, we went to Palm Springs, we stopped by, we were just looking around, and then I actually saw the store, and I just wanted to take a quick look. And you know what, to be honest, I, I really do like the purchase. And if you guys are interested, and you guys are, you know, in Palm Springs or in LA, I would actually, you know, take a drive out there and see what they have. Um, I mean, for 130 bucks for for a gamble, that's that's pretty crazy. But let me go ahead and show you guys. So this is the Gensini Organizer Wallet. Um, this is basically how it comes in. That's gonna be I got a, like a green color. So that's that. Serial number. I don't know if I was supposed to show that, but I'll, I don't care. So this is basically how it comes. It comes with a little, I think this is like a little, I'm not too sure what this is, but made in Italy. So we got that. And then, fortunately, this does not come with a little dust bag. I really wish it did. I'm not sure if because it's an outlet, you know, they don't come with dust bags or if um, they just don't come with dust bags in general. So that's kind of a downside, but it's not a big deal. Um, you know, for a hundred bucks, you know, this thing is pretty damn well. So I actually been using this wallet. Um, I used it for a full month and it looks like there's no wear on here whatsoever. You can see, personally, I really like it. It's like, it looks like a snake skin, but it's not. It's just like a pumbled leather. And then this is the glazing here. You can see, it looks really nice. The edges, the glazing, you can see there's a little bit of green on there. Um, I don't know why it starts coming out, it starts coming off. But um, when I was talking to the salesperson that sold me this, they told me that I think you can get this reglaze. She said, if there was any issues, just go ahead and contact for a gamo. Um, you can see it starts moving in the edges there see the green coming out I really don't know to be honest that this is gonna last like a really long time um, because already you can see like the edging I only used it for, I've only been using this for a month and half of the time like I am holding on to it um, and then sometimes I do put it in my wallet but I mean my pocket but you can see how the glazing looks really good and then this is how it looks like inside So this is a little slip, little paper booklet made in Italy. It just talks about how the letter can be damaged. I'll leave that right there. Oh, and then this was the price tag originally. Uh, it says $4.95, but I, when I look on the website, it says like $5.50, $5 something. I'm not sure if that was a price, um, but it was $3.49, uh, $3, I think that's $3.46. I don't know why I'm thinking that's a nine, but 346 and then um, I think it was, oh yeah, 346. Yeah, and then 50% off, so that's pretty crazy. Um, like I said, I am happy for it. It's really nice leather. I love how it looks like. And then here we got another one. And this one says just thank you about like an NFC, I guess to check out the authenticity. Um, so that's something different. So one thing I really do like about this wallet is that it actually holds a lot of cards. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
And then you got 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 cards. Here's here the other one, 16. And then you also got one big pocket here. You got another big pocket here. You got another one here. And then same thing on the other side. You got one, two, three. So I would just assume this is, would be more of like a travel wallet. Um, that's how the inside is. It's not all leather. Like I think uh, the Louis Vuitton wallets, they're all leather. Um, so you do have a little bit of nylon in there. I think it's nylon. And then this is my favorite part, actually. It's literally like a big old wallet in here. You can stick a lot of cash. Um, you don't have to like just stuff it in here. I think I was looking at Louis Vuitton ones and um, they actually didn't have this pocket here. And uh, same thing with Gucci, they didn't have it. Um, so personally, you know, I, I think it was a steal. It was a good price for a hundred bucks. If I would pay $550, I don't know. I, I probably wouldn't. Um, you know, I would probably like look around, see, check eBay, see if I can get one on discount. Or, you know, if you happen to be in LA, uh, you could just drive down towards uh, Palm Springs. It's the Cabazon Desert Hills outlet. Um, they do have a Gucci, they have a Burberry, they have Ferragamo, they have like really high designer brands over there. Um, I'm not sure how many seasons ago these were, but for the price point, for a hundred bucks for something like this, I, I feel it was a no brainer. You can see right there, it's stamped Salvador Ferragam, made in Italy. So I really do like it. Um, to be honest, like all these little markings on here, how they're like somewhat different, that wasn't used over time or that wasn't, um, what is it, like broken in or scratched or anything like that. That's just basically how I got it. So it's like a, you know, really nice leather that they used here. Same thing with this here. It looks like a scratch, but that's basically how, you know, I received it. It looks, it looks really nice. I really do like it. And this is gonna be the other side here. So that's how it looks like. Very nice, and this is metal here. So on the little booklet, it talks about an NFC chip. I think it's this one right here. In order to identify its origins. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I was actually looking for it. I couldn't seem to find it. Um, I don't know if it's in here, but I was trying to look for the NFC chip. I mean, if you guys know about it, this is my first Ferragamo wallet that I ever had, so I don't really know much about them. Um, if you guys happen to know, uh leave a comment um if you guys really like this video subscribe i hope you like us like this i'm gonna see if i can try to do more reviews like on wallets and originally it was supposed to be credit cards so i should be putting more up um but thanks a lot guys appreciate it